Hello, Steve White, Steve White's 89. Well, I am as shocked as everyone else by Barbie's Oscar snubs. Um, there was the surprise of um, America Ferreira getting a um, nomination for Best Supporting Actress. No one was surprised by um, Ken getting a, a nomination. And I wasn't really shocked that Margot didn't get the uh, nomination for Actress because I didn't feel like people saw that as a complicated role or... Um, really appreciated that. I think we all know what Barbie's like in our minds and, and she sort of managed to fulfill that image and I, and I think it got taken for granted. So I wasn't surprised by that. But what I was surprised by and offended by was um, Greta Gerwig not getting nominated. She, and, it's, and it is total misogynism. It's total, we can't accept a woman in a traditional man's role and we just won't. And there is definitely an air of the Barbenheimer thing because it was Barbie which was seen initially as this sort of um, mindless kids toy sort of fantasy film and Oppenheimer was this serious male drama um, and the idea they were putting the two up together because they're opposites was kind of tolerable but when Barbie actually made more money um, a lot of people I think were like okay but she's not going to win the Oscars. She's, you know, you know we, we may not be able to stop the people from seeing the film, but we can certainly, you know, not reward it. Um, and I do feel like there's some revenge here and some pettiness and some bitterness. And um, it's pretty sad because, I mean, Margot did get the nomination as producer for the best film, but they have 10 films in the best film category now. I didn't even realise that. I, I remember hearing something now about that, but I haven't paid that much attention to the Oscars for a while. Like, I haven't watched the... The ceremony where they, you know, announce the, um, the the nominees or the actual proper ceremony. I usually just get a roundup of who won and who didn't and talk about that. But this year I was so interested in how Barbie did. I actually watched the the event, which was hosted by Zazie Beetz and um, Jack Quaid or whatever the guy who plays um, Boiler or whatever his name is in Star Trek Lower Decks, which was kind of surprising to see him there. I'm like, why are you there? But um. Like, it's the Oscars, what are you doing there? Um, you're barely even a TV star or TV character of note. Um, but yeah, so I watched that and I was really surprised. I was surprised at first that Margot didn't get the nomination, but then when I thought about it, I wasn't that upset. So I'm like, I get people didn't really see... It's one of those thankless, invisible roles, I think, and there are a lot of those who people do such a good job of it that people just think, well, of course, and that's just natural. She just wakes up and is Barbie. Um, and I love the fact that I grew up, you know, in Australia playing with Barbie dolls and, and, you know, we had an Australian being Barbie, um, you know, so, um, something about that, a little bit of Australian pride, but it's like, yeah, I, I think she should have got a nomination. I don't necessarily think she should have won, but I haven't seen all the other performances, so I can't say for sure. But, um, yeah, Greta definitely should have been nominated for, for the actual film. I mean, it is a complicated film. It has many layers. And it could easily have been a joke, it could easily have been an absolute disaster, but she made it into something brilliant that made a lot of money, that um, a lot of people responded to, and she's not getting that respect. And it's not because of the work, it's because she's a woman. It's really that simple. Um, it's really, really annoying, because... I mean, it's, it's like, did we learn nothing from the film? It's almost like they wanted to say... Not yet, Barbie. You know, you're not, you're not, you're not going to win. Okay, you may have, you may have created a great film. You may have, you know, won the audience. But the the system, you know, the industry is still not going to let you have the same acknowledgement that we would give a man in the same role. If someone did a GI Joe film and made the same attempt to give it some sort of integrity and succeeded they would be getting all the Oscars, they'd be getting everything, but, you know, not Barbie. So it's pretty offensive. Um, the, the, other, the other slaps in the faces were um, Nothing for Saltburn, um, which I guess is the big gay film. I still haven't seen it. Um, and the other one was The Colour Purple. It only got one nomination for one of the actresses, and it wasn't one of the main ones, I don't think. I, I don't know who's in it besides um, Fantasia and um, um, Cookie, um, Tragy P. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know what happened with that. There's, there's a lot of press making the actors look bad, like they're complaining about everything. 
but they're being treated second rate, so you can't really blame them. But um, that's the way the media is, has, has dealt with them. Like, oh, ungrateful, you know, people of colour. We gave them a film and look how they pay us. Oh, we can't, we can't, we can't acknowledge them with Oscars. It's just your usual, it's just your usual media games and racism and just misogyny and everything. It's just sad. I, I really, I, I can't, I thought Barbara, uh, Barbara, Barbie had broken, you know, that sort of ceiling on that level. And I thought Hollywood cared most about money. And if Barbie could make the money, you know, I thought they would have, you know, just, yeah, I, I, I'm a little bit surprised. I really didn't think um, Greta would have gotten this sort of level of disrespect and so forth. So, yeah, very disappointing. I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Thanks. Bye.